Okay, went to Harbor Freight and bought me a three and a half horsepower, 14 inch industrial cutoff saw. $97.99 and 20% coupon. Never go to Harbor Freight without a coupon. And we'll unbox it here and see what it looks like. I read numerous reviews on Harbor Freight's website. Some people love this thing, some people hate it. So what, how do you judge? You buy one for yourself and you try it. That's all you can do. So, seems to be pretty well boxed up. I get it out here. So there it is, there's my brand new cutoff saw. Where is the lock? There's the lock. Well that ain't, isn't any good. I need to screw that on tighter. But there it is. So we'll get her put together here and I got a bunch of steel angle and I got a half inch steel plate. I'm making, a, I'm building a welding table is what I'm building here. That's my project. The overall is going to be, I'm going to put four legs on it, 36 inches long, so it comes about at my waist. Then I'm going to put, move in six inches and put four angles just to stiffen the plate. And then inside of that, I'm going to draw on a six inch pattern square on a six inch grid. I'm going to drill half inch holes every six inches the whole way through the to give me so I can bolt stuff down anchor stuff and things of that sort and if I need a bigger hole I'll drill a bigger hole where I need it at times but um, I got a little project coming up here and I needed something sturdy and something strong and something I could keep level because what the project I'm building I'll show you that when we get to that but that project I'm building has orientation points to keep it level keep it square keep it true and it's actually wheels that are going to spin and i don't want them to be eccentric and spinning out of balance or anything because i got something out of round out of square so anyway so that's down the road but we're building this welding table to begin with and first part to get that put together cut some legs out of that angle right there so here we go okay i've cut three legs now i got one here this is my pattern leg I'm using it so that I get every one the exact same length so I don't end up out of level if I'm out if the bent if the the uh, table rocks it'll be because of an unlevel surface that it's setting on not because the legs are a different length so I've got three legs cut so far you can see makes a really nice cut good square clean cut there straight cut now i have noticed this frame's a little flimsy and when you're pulling down cutting that it'll have a tendency to want to roll this way which would take your blade on an angle so i'm pulling i'm putting both hands on this when i pull and i pull more with my right hand to keep this side pulling more square on the cut and that seems to be working uh if you were to pour too much on, pull too much on this side, see the frame itself rocks and bends, and that would allow your cut to get off slightly. Depending on what you're doing, it might not hurt you. But what I'm doing here, I want to keep everything as square and true to start with to save me work and trouble later on down the road here when I'm putting this together. So I'll cut one here. Now it cuts pretty nice. It does go down through. This, this is 3 16 steel, 3 by 3 angle. And it goes down through pretty nice till it gets right to the end right here where it's going to, it breaks through here first, then cuts the rest of this side off. 
and it starts to try and jam just a little bit that it takes the RPMs down. I just ease up on the pressure, raise it up, let it catch itself, and then go back down in it. And that seems to work no problem at all. The other thing that I read was about people saying that these the RPMs in the motor would slow down on this when they were cutting, and I got to thinking, well, maybe not using having enough power cable. This thing does, it's three and a half horsepower. That does draw a lot of power. I didn't read the amperage on it, but three and a half horsepower motor will draw some power. I've got a 10 gauge cable here that I'm using connected to a 12 gauge cable connected up to the house. I don't have power outside here yet um, that's working on it. hopefully this summer I get that done but right now but I do have a 10 gauge cable in order to carry the power and everything down here which does help. So anyway here we go we're going to make a cut we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So there you see, now that's 3 16th steel, that's pretty substantial steel, there's no two ways about it, that uh, that it's cutting through there, and it went through without much trouble, you saw I had to let up, right where it breaks through, and it cuts this front off here, I don't know if you see that black spot there, if that's the what's left or not, I don't know, but anyway, uh, I had to let up, let it gain its momentum, and then go back down, and it cut right down through, so... Um, not a bad, not a bad saw for, I mean, it, I wouldn't want to be cutting half inch steel angle with it. It wouldn't, it's not, and that's, you need a band saw for that. That This isn't made for that. But I'd say up to a quarter inch, you're probably okay using this. Just take your time. Don't jam it, don't force it. But if you, uh, uh, anything over a quarter inch, I think you're up to a band saw now. So, anyway. So that's it. That's, that's my... Showing you my 14-inch industrial cutoff saw, Harbor Freight. What's the model number? Everybody shows the model number. What's the model number on this thing? I don't know. Three and a half inch saw, 97.99, 20% off coupon. So you can't go wrong with that. I paid. I got 20 bucks off the price, roughly. So um, there you go, Harbor Freight 14-inch cutoff saw. Thanks for watching.